Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me cover Q2 of the weekly contest 423 adjacent increasing sub arrays detection 2. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So, this one is actually way similar to Q1, except for that um, you're trying to figure out the longest K that it can be. And really, there are a couple of ways to think about this. The way that I thought about it is that there are case analysis, right? There's only two cases. One is um, uh, 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 <clears throat> An increasing subway n and then an increasing and then another one begins right so you have two distinct ones and then the, the other one is just if you have one really long one um or just moderately long one and you have to break them into two right and actually i thought the, uh, the examples kind of gave you that one a little bit um which is nice i suppose um because this is one of the case right of breaking one two three four which is one long one into two right and in this case, it's just, you know, it is what it sounds like. So you have this. And the idea here is just to keep track. Um, I think the, the biggest thing is just what is the maximum uh, thing that you can do, which is the problem, right? But the way that I think about it is that, okay, well, what is the sub array's current longest um, sub longest thing for, like longest streak, I call it, for strictly increasing, right? And then now we've given that number, then you know where the last one ends, so that you could track how long that one is. And then if you just kind of keep the longer one to figure out which one is better, um, that that's basically all you need. Um, and in code, it kind of does look like this. Um, yeah, so basically best, what, what, I, it is kind of dynamic programming, but it also it's not really, I mean it is because I just want to store everything. Um, so yeah, and what best is that is that uh, best of i is you go to the longest, uh, uh, the streak of the increasing sub array, strictly increasing sub array, um, uh, ending at index i, right? So that's basically it. And ba yeah, I mean, if it's bigger than the previous number, the streak continues. If not, then you start a new streak, right? Pretty, pretty. Uh, I think that's understandable. Is what I mean to say. And then after that, we just uh, go through all the max here. I mean, you could even do this in one loop, honestly. But I just, I was. Double checking some typos and stuff. I, I don't, for this contest for this problem I had just woke uh, woken up, so my mind was like you see me like being sluggish and slow, honestly. Um, but yeah, um, and you can see that start. Uh, this is the variable name is terrible, but it's actually the end of. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll add a where start is the end of the previous previous sub array right so this just make sure that we has a previous one so then if that's the case then we either um remember that best sub start is the streak that ends at start which is confusing for the variable name um and i is the streak that ends here so basically you it's almost like a jump table kind of thing where right? you hop one step away so then you, you're here and then you look one hop away to see what is the longest there and then you have these two subways of two different or maybe sometimes the same but possibly two different um uh, uh lengths uh, next to each other then you know you, once you have that visualization you can work out why this is true i mean i think you know that's that's fine right and then here this is just the if one long subway needs to be divided by two to well break in half this is what we have and that's it, pretty much. Uh, you max over all that. This is O of N. This is O of N. Pretty straightforward stuff in terms of uh, complexity analysis. And that's it. Uh, like I said, I took a long time on this one. You can kind of watch the live portion about almost five minutes or five more than five minutes, really. And, and I just wanted to be careful. I, I don't know. I was a little bit sluggish. I wanted to be careful and I was not fast. And, and also just wasn't confident as a result of all these things. But that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And you can watch me sell it live in the contest next. All right, whatever. Let's go. Okay. Honestly, I'm still almost worried about that one. People already finished Q2 though. So I'm just being sloppy. <sighs> okay. But it's not the same problem. Okay, whatever. Read it then. They're not the same problem. Okay. The people we done though. Ten people. Possible values. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Mm, I'm just really bad too. Okay, yeah, fine. It's okay. Being slow and correct is more important. This is why this is five and three. So then now, just the longest trick. This one is two. Why is it two? Because one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. This is not, this is mem. Oh, no, it's in. Hmm. How do I get four? Uh. That's why the start is negative one. Is that true? So one you start at. So this you had two. Oh, do, 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 do. Negative one. Okay, fine. I think we're good. But, uh, I feel so slow today. Um, could be wrong. Okay. How many people got it so far? 256. I'm definitely very slow. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, this contest, the explanation, everything in between. Whatever you like. <laughs> stay good. Uh, stay healthy. Take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.